Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is Scotty Z23 speaking and this is Gears of War Ultimate Edition for the PC and Windows 10. Go ahead and click on and today I'm going to show you the specs that I'm using and a little bit of gameplay footage. And I'm recording this via Xbox DVR. Although it's since Windows 10 and Xbox are kind of merged together and it's I don't know, it's kind of weird, but that's what I'm using to record. It's the only real way to effectively record this game, since this is part of the Windows 10 app. As you see, if you can see it, if I'm moving my mouse cursor up, you can see it right here. That's part of the Windows 10, the way they do it. I don't know, it's really weird. Go ahead and click on video. These are my specs that I'm using. I am using a GTX 980 Ti video card. It has 6 gigabytes of video RAM. And these are the specs that I'm having right here, or using. I don't know why I keep saying stupid shit. You can actually uh, click delete on your keyboard, and there should be a little frame counter over here. And if you guys can see it, it says about 660 plus FPS. So right now we're gonna show you, or I'm gonna show you some gameplay. We're gonna, let's see. Uh, let's do this one. Go ahead and wait for it to load. I'm also using an Intel Core i7-3770 running at 3.4 gigahertz. Control, this is Delta and I have 16 Delta gigabytes of video, or not video RAM, or just regular RAM. Is the conservatory clear? As far as I can tell, Delta One. Then that's our route. So if I move around in certain places, as you can see, I'm getting about 100 frames over here, 120. Oh. 100 stands still, but if I look back here, it goes, it drops down to 80, 75, 79. And obviously, when I'm moving around and I'm shooting, going wild, and then it starts to definitely dip and then go back up and dip. And so it's definitely not the smoothest, but it doesn't help the fact that I'm running the settings really high. Take cover. So I already know they're gonna spawn all the way over here. Pick up this ammo crate. And some lancer ammo. Good to go. Cluster luck. Origins <laughs> hole. That door open now. Oh shit. It is a little clunky because I am using the mouse and keyboard for inputs. So to fire my weapon, to look around, to evade and get into cover, go to your run, all that stuff. And even switch weapons too. Oh shit. I probably should use the hammer of dawn. <laughs> I love that. The thing that's really nice about using mouse and keyboard on Gears of War in particular is even though it seems a little clunky, it nice. actually works pretty now damn what? well. Just using my WASD to move around, everywhere. and then my thumb the to press out. the space bar for moving Watch around and all that. We'll you can effectively wall bounce and do all sorts of maneuvers like this. Yeah, at least in prison they gave me three aunts and a cot. And because of the smoothness of the mouse, you're able to effectively move around very smoothly with practice, of course. 
That's definitely a lot different than using a controller that we're all used to. Let's see if we can look at that. Hopefully you guys can see that in good detail. I don't know what it is, but they always, every time I look at dead bodies of humans, they're always just red colored. They're never different variations on this game in particular. I guess they got lazy with that. This is the ground textures and foliage and all that. Hopefully you can see that in great detail. Getting about 115, 120, now I'll drop down to 70, 80. Here comes the Berserker, the second one in the game. Completely impervious to gunfire. Only effective use uh, flamethrowers, which you don't get until Gears of War 3. Or in this case, just hammer it down. But I'm sure you guys already know that. This game's been out effectively for over a decade. And if you don't know what's effective against Berserker, you've been missing out. That's all I gotta say. You can't really, like, teabag or anything with the keyboard, and it's kind of hard. Like, if you try to move back and forth like this, you kind of have to switch your fingers around. It makes it a little uncomfortable. How'd you miss that? I don't know how she's missing this. Come on. You're still running, what the fuck? You're a crazy ass bitch. There we go. Should be one more time. You might have to do it a second time. Because that first time didn't really use it very well. Nope. Nope. Get over here. As you can see, that little quick maneuver I did, you normally wouldn't be able to do that with the controller on the Xbox, but because I'm using mouse and keyboard, I can effectively move around and turn around really fast because of how high the sensitivity can go. So you can imagine when you're playing multiplayer how effective that could be. You essentially, it can become impossible to kill in certain scenarios. Depending on your skill, of course. I mean, just think about it, you're in a shotgun battle and you're just like moving around like this. Like it's literally just How about we never do that again? Your movement yeah. at light yeah, speed. Works, like literally. It's ridiculous. Alright, so I think I'm going to end the video on this note. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully I will upload a lot more videos soon because I'll be getting better internet within a month or two, I hope. That's why you don't see me upload as much anymore. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, as I said the second time. <laughs> and I will see you guys later.